Hello everybody. I'm going to be your biggest friend from here on out. Bleach. Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking about Field Day. Now, what is Field Day? Now, a lot of you probably think it's like elementary school where you go out and run races and be picked last and called fat. No, instead, field day is where you get to clean, wipe, scrub, and spray everything in your barracks room so it's clean in the morning. Because believe it or not, Marines have to clean their rooms too. So thank your mother for all those times she made you scrub the floors until your hands bled. So real quick, I'm going to show you what products to buy, where to clean, and how you can pass your room inspection. All right, everybody, now first things first. You're going to want to start off with the basic of basic, air fresheners. Lay them out all over the place. And while you're laying out the fresheners, do a general tidy up of the room of anything that might be, I don't know, kind of embarrassing. And also, you're going to want to do a quick sweep to make sure that you pick up anything that might be laying around like trash or crumpled up pieces of paper. Next, we're going to move on to dusting. Now, why do I have socks down? That's because when you go over wooden surfaces like your desks or table or drawers, you're going to want to use socks. I started off using paper towels, but they left the little white fuzzies behind. And when I bought the wipes, that left a weird kind of grease behind also. So I go with the normal, maybe off-brand cleaner, and I use my socks and just wash them afterwards. Next up is some off-brand dish soap and a pack of sponges. And this is the bread and butter because you can wipe down the walls, corners of the floors, the microwaves, the shower, and then finish with the toilet, all using just one sponge and cleaning pretty much the entire room. Next up is bleach. Now, do not buy it in bulk because they'll assume you're a murderous maniac that are dumping bodies in the swamp behind your house in the middle of Pennsylvania. Because you're not. But anyway, bleach is the finisher because no matter what, if you spill something on the floor, can't get something out of the toilet, get the stains in the shower, Bleach is going to get rid of it for you. Now, you have to be very careful because if you get bleach on your hands or anywhere on your body, be sure to wash it off immediately because it can actually harm you. Make sure you're wearing very old clothes whenever you are cleaning with bleach because it will ruin them if you get it on them. No room is complete until you finish it off with some air freshener. I like to buy the off-brand, maybe $2.00. And pro tip here, spray it around your door frame so that whenever they come in to check, the first thing they smell is that fresh air freshener. And the old saying goes, if it looks clean, smells clean, and it must be clean, nine times out of ten, you'll probably pass just on this crap alone. Now here are a couple tips to definitely make sure that you pass your field day. I like to buy the fabric fresheners, and I'll stick them in my shoes, in my drawers, and even in my hamper with all my dirty clothes if I haven't done them yet. And... That way, everything smells fresh. And now another thing with the dirty clothes, make sure you put them in your foot locker or closet, get them out of sight. Make sure that you empty your trash the night before, which is a no-brainer, but you'd be surprised. Most of the time, I'll save the toilet for the morning of because you don't want to go ahead and clean your toilet at 6 o'clock and then go the rest of the day without going to the bathroom or going to the bathroom and constantly cleaning it. So I wait till the day of and just do it the morning before real quick before inspection. The less stuff out, the better. So if you have stuff on your dresser drawers or tables, it's best to just kind of put them away. Uh, picture frames, I also normally put in my foot locker because that's just one more thing they can rub their finger on and be like, hey, you got dust here. If you can, only use one or two blankets on your bed. Most places don't make you have military racks anymore, and they're pretty lenient. So as long as your bed looks good, you'll be fine. So maybe one or two blankets to throw over it. And finally, don't forget to hit your microwave inside and out. When you go to the refrigerator, make sure you throw out all the old food, clean it, wipe it down inside and out, and don't forget the crease on the door. There's a little rubber thing. Pull that away and scrub in there. If there's one thing Marines can do, it's clean a toilet. So don't forget to wipe everything down and get underneath because they will stick their finger up there and if they find stuff, you are definitely screwed. So do not forget underneath of the toilet bowl. Field day is about living healthily and making sure that your living conditions are up to par. Uh, it's not about hazing, and there shouldn't be hazing. All it is is you might go to a formation, clean the common areas, scrub down the kitchen, and then go to your room and clean it. 
and then get inspected. And if you do see something going on that absolutely shouldn't be going on, do not be afraid to tell somebody because someone will help you out and someone will fix it. Alright, get to cleaning.